Hi, Kieran. Great to see you. Great to see your dog there beside you. What's his name? Yeah. That's Jake. There's, that's one of four dogs. Mm-hmm. So, so they're, they're all floating around here. Like I said, I'm not, yeah. I'm not hunting in from work. So just had to get them fed before before they, they, we wouldn't be able to hear each other. If it yeah. <laughs> so just to ask you, you're representing the Bearded Villains. And yes, you're, you're going to be fundraising for uh, MS Ireland. So, so was, uh, yeah. first, I'm, I'm dying to know about bearded villains. Who are the bearded villains? Um, a bunch of a bunch of inebriates, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, we we basically we come from all walks of life. It was started in 2014 or 15, I think it was, by a guy over in America who basically wanted to get rid of the stigma of like um, anybody that has facial hair is always a villain, especially in films and movies and stuff like that. Like anybody with a moustache or a beard, they're always a villain. And he came up with this bearded villains uh, thing and it literally has grown leaps and bounds um, in, the, in the past nearly 10 years. Um, it's, it's It has chapters all over the world. Um, I'm part of the Irish chapter. Um, there's over in the UK. Then there's, there's there's an awful lot more chapters there. There's Europe. There's obviously chapters all over America. Um, but yeah, it's literally grown. I think there's. I don't quote me on this, but I think there's over twenty thousand members worldwide. Wow. Wow. Um, and just and and each each individual chapter raises their own kind of money for it's non profit. Like you know, whatever whatever we do, it's it all goes back into the pot, and gets um gets sent on for the the wow. different charities that we choose. And are you like bikers as well? Like, do you are, are bikes part of it? No, no, no. That's no, a, it's no, a, no. That's, no, that's a, a common common thing that we get is, asked. Is um, it okay? <laughs> yeah, no, because we're all you know fairly big guys, like you know, so <laughs> beards and, and plenty of tattoos and stuff yeah. like that. But um, no, there's a couple of lads now. They have bikes, all right, but that's their own kind of that's personal best. thing. No, it's no, we're not a biker biker wow. club at all. You know. And that's amazing. And tell us, so you said you, you, you kind of raise money every year. So you chose uh, MS Ireland this year. Like, was there a reason why you chose MS Ireland? Yeah, um, basically one of the guys, he's one of the officials. Like I said, there's like five or six officials um, that kind of do the the running of the, the chapter in the background. Um, like we would get merch and stuff like that, like T-shirts organized. Uh, we have a merch officer there, Alan. Um, he's absolutely fantastic now. He's um, really, really good at, at getting the likes of the T-shirts organized. We're going to be having sunglasses as well. Um, you know, different patches and stuff like that. I have a rake of patches just kind of all mm. over, all over my table here, just in case you wanted to see a few of them. But um, mm. yeah, so... One of the officials, as I was saying, John, John um, Volvo, as we call him, he actually suffers with MS, um, and he had mentioned it. Like, you know, would would we mind doing MS this year? Because each year we choose a different charity. Like I said, we've done Dogs Trust, we've done Women's Aid, um, we've done runs for the homeless, um, we've also done uh, Foil Search and Rescue up in Derry. Um, that that was the the last one there before you guys and we raised I think it was about five thousand sterling. Wow. Um, it's normally that's 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 normally the figure that we kind of aim for. Like anything, obviously anything more than as well. Um, all goes to the kind of charity. Like we, it's as I said, it's it's non profit, you know. Mm-hmm. So and that that was the reason because John is he's instrumental in what he does. Um, he literally he was running the social media side of things for yeah. us for three years. I think it was two or three years. And he, he just, he literally went above and beyond. He was fantastic. And obviously, he's, we would call him a brother, and that's what we call each other, uh, brothers, even though we all come from different walks of life. Um, like, I'm, I'm ex-Irish Army, back in my youth. Um, there, there's, there's ex-British soldiers then as well. And, you know, the, it's north and south. You know, we don't we don't see any borders. You know, there's, there's guys that are... Uh, in the Orange Lodge, um, there's guys that aren't in the Orange Lodge, um, you know. So there's Protestant, Catholic. Like we don't, we don't differentiate. Like we're here for 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 one thing and one thing only. Like you know, kind of to to help everybody out, and no matter what background you come from. Yeah, and John, he's doing the May fifty k, isn't he? I think I've been following yeah. him on um on his Instagram, and I'll put a link below um to yeah. like to your fundraiser and to your Instagram, and people can follow it. Like he's going great guns. Yeah, he's flying. I was I was slagging him actually there in the in the chat on WhatsApp there the other day. 
he said he, he put in a picture uh, of what he had done and he's really racking up the, the the miles here now lads and I went Jay's your batteries must be <laughs> must be crazy. you know because he's unfortunately he's 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 uh he's in the chair like you know but um that's that's the kind of banter that we have like you know there's there's no there's no um badness over but yeah now he's doing really really well I have to say an awful yeah. lot of that an awful lot of and and what do you do you meet up regularly or how does it work? I mean, so I'm very intrigued um, by your group. Yeah, we we would we would love to meet up a little bit more uh, frequently, but the problem that we kind of have with everybody spread over the 32 counties of Ireland, um, it it's hard to get everybody in one place at one time. It's it's just, it's a club at the end of the day. It's just a, it's a group. It's it's not. Um, it's not like you have to be you have to be here, you have to do this, you have to do that, I have to do the other. Obviously we 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 obey certain guidelines and rules and stuff like that. But um yeah, we do we do meet up. We we're, we have an an, in, an international meet every year. Um this year we're having it down in Athlone in Kerry's Tavern in Athlone Town. That's on the sixteenth of August, sixteenth, seventeenth, and if you're still if you're still able to stand the eighteenth of August then as well. Um <laughs> But yeah, we would have one big meet every year, and then we'd have all little mini meets throughout the year, like Christmas. And you now we try and we try and get as many people together as we can, like you know, and just meet up and have the crack and and talk show. Yeah, well, listen, thank you so much. For what we'll do, I'll, I said I'll, I'll have the links up for the fundraiser and um, for your Instagram, and can, people can follow you there. And thank you. Best of luck with the rest of the year, and thank you so much. Yeah, no, come here. Look, we really appreciate it. Um, like I said, like we're non profit, so any 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 money that we're making and from what I've seen, the lads are really, really getting close to that goal already. Yeah. Like, you know, it's it's not even halfway through the month. I know. It's you know? amazing. Amazing. Thank you very yeah. much. No problem at all. Glad to do it.